came to the right spot. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what salvation is. And then we're going to go ahead and give you a chance to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You know, the Bible says that in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, it says that for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Meaning no matter who you are, everybody is a sinner. Everybody needs a Savior. Everyone sins. In Romans chapter 6, 23, it says that for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. It means that when you are a sin, sin deserves death. Somebody must die when there is sin. But doesn't it feel good that in Romans chapter 5 verse 8 it said, But God commended his love towards us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us? Well, Jesus Christ actually died for you. You were supposed to die because of your sins. Because God cannot look at your sin. So you was actually supposed to die because of your sins. But there was a Savior. There is a Savior. The King of all kings came down, God in the flesh. He came down to catch so bad of a beating and to actually die for your sins so that you won't have to die for your sins spiritually. So now you have a chance to make Jesus Christ your Lord, meaning He is the number one authority in your life and you follow whatever He says because you loved Him, because He first loved you. Now I'm not going to give you any magical words or anything to say. There's no there's no specific words. You don't have to repeat exactly what I say. But all it says that in Romans I just want to be chapter 10 verse 9 it says that if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and if you believe in your heart that God had raised him from the dead you shall be saved. That's all you have to do, for with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. All you need to do right now, no matter how far you went, no matter how bad you've sinned, Jesus is willing to forgive you. He is willing to give you a better life, much cleaner life. It's the best decision you'll ever make in your life. It's peace, comfort, healing and you get to be in his presence and you don't have to be ashamed of what you've been doing no more just say it, Lord Jesus come into my heart Jesus Lord I had enough of living on my own doing all the things trying to have fun trying to fill the empty void in my heart but it's just not filling up Lord I need you tell him that you surrender I surrender Lord Jesus I give my life to you and now from now on I'm gonna live it for you and I'm gonna try and live as perfect as I can but I know that if I do happen to slip you will be there to pick me up again just tell him please Lord Jesus come into my heart and be my Savior save me from sin save me from death I want to be with you Lord Go ahead, just tell him everything you feel. Open your heart like he's your real father, because he is your real father. Just receive him right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that whoever's asking for the Savior right now, Lord, that you bless them and keep them, Lord. Hold them by your side. Cleanse their sin in the name of Jesus. Go on. Tell Jesus how much you need him. Open your heart to him. I don't want to worship from afar. Draw me near. Draw me Tell him to be your savior. In Romans 10:9 said that what you just did, you asked Jesus to be your savior with all your heart. Congratulations that now you are in the Lord's family. 2 Corinthians 5:17 says Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Well, my brother or sister, you just became a new creation. 
in whatever the sin may be that you've been living. Now that you made Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, it's like you've never sinned in the first place. You have a clean slate and a brand new start. So try and walk your best in the sight of Christ, and He will help you. And from now on, you actually even got protection. You're in God's will, you're in God's protection. And the Bible also says that the angels are rejoicing because of what you just did. You accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And I welcome you to the family. Not only do you have Jesus on your side, but if you have billions of brothers and sisters all over the world, no matter where you go, you'll always have Jesus with you. He said, I am with you always, even until the end of the earth. I want to welcome to you to the family. I recommend that you get into a good Bible-believing church, read your Bible, read the Word, and welcome to the family of God. Heaven is rejoicing right now for what you did. Yeah.